everyone, I'm Yolanda Soto Lopez from the Opcast channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, that way you never miss a new video. If you see anything you like, be sure to hit that like button, put any comments below, and let's get the party started! Hello everyone, today I wanted to do a video to give you some information on how to read yarn labels and what the information on the yarn labels means. Now here I've gotten some different um, types of yarn um, to give you uh, some different weights and different things. This one, um, some more from Caron Cakes and uh, different information for different yarn. Now I hope this information will help you uh, in selecting your yarn when you're going to be working on projects because depending on the information that is on the label, it might help determine um, if that's a good fit for you or if you're going to want to use that yarn. Um, it's important to know because after you put in so much work and money, you know, your time, um, you don't want to make, you want to make sure you know how to take care of the item so it doesn't get ruined when you wash it or you know how to take care of that. Now, one of the first things, I'm going to try to just go like in the order, um, which is, this one's a little bit different, but here usually, uh, and you could see it on our other yarns here, I'm going to get a little bit closer. I have some yarns, some hooks and needles here, and I'm going to show you what, um, why I have those there. Now here, when you see your yarn label, this one, of course, is a uh, Simply Caron um, from Simply Soft from Caron, and uh, it's an acrylic yarn. So here it will tell you, this is 100% acrylic, and it actually tells you they're medium, you know, this weight. Now this one is kind of nice because it tells you right away machine washable and dryable. So um, a lot of times they don't say that and you just have to rely on the symbols to know what's going to happen there. So here this one is kind of nice um, because um, it gives you the information that it is washable and dryable. And these are one of the things I like about the Yarnspiration yarns because they will actually... Um, like this one, the Caron Cakes, it will tell you hand wash, lay flat, that whole information that is here. Um, but a lot of times people don't know the symbols, so that's what's kind of neat about that yarn. Um, so a lot of them won't say that, but um, that's kind of neat. You can also read on that. So now if you know that you're gonna, you don't like to hand wash things, um, or you just don't have the time because life is so busy, with kids, with family, work, everything. So maybe you're going to be then inclined to choose uh, yarns that are machine washable and dryable. You don't want to hand wash or do other things for it. So these are one of the information that you would want to know. So this would be a good yarn if you're looking for a medium weight yarn. Then you know that, hey, I can wash this, I can dry it, you know, you know how to take care of it. So here... The first thing, usually, after you see this here, well, let me tell you, this is going to tell you how, many, how much the yarn weighs, how much is in there. And it's also going to give it to you in the grams. So if this is 6 ounces, 170 grams. It'll tell you the approximate yardage. Usually, it's a little bit more. And then it also gives it to you in meters. So it would be 315 yards and 288 meters. And so this, in, this yarn is interesting because there is no dye lot. Now, dye lot means that they're using the same lot all the time, the same yarn. So that you can choose, like, if you got this color and you go two weeks later, a few days later, it's still going to match. It's still going to be the same color. Um, when yarn companies dye their yarns, uh, they do it in batches, so they call them lots. A lot of times, just from one batch to another from one lot to another there could be a difference slight difference in the dye uh, the lot and so sometimes you'll get a little variation in the color so you want to make sure that when you buy your yarns that you have them in the same lot you know so then you want to make sure you match up your uh, dye lot so that they can all be the same like this one it just tells us the color number it doesn't give us a dye lot this yarn here, I believe, has a dye lot, is it? Yeah. So here, this is what I'm talking about. This will give you the lot number. This is the color dye lot. Um, so here, this is the teal color, teal lake. 
um, and that's the color so if you bought like say uh, if you need more than one ball which most projects do since this is a small um, three and a half ounce um, package here um, so if you were going to buy more than one you need two three four whatever you need to make sure that you get the same the same color if you need the same color but you also have to match that dye lot to make sure that they're all the same color you don't want to have a slight variation for one being a little bit lighter or darker and you'll be able to see that in your finished garment so that's what the dye lot is and so this um, yarn here has no dye lot so you're pretty safe when um, choosing the yarn that has no dye lot if you need more than one or if you need to go back that's why I always say if you're gonna buy for your project get all the yarn at once because sometimes you go back and you can't find the same dye lot and I have had that happen to me where I did a sweater and I thought oh it's, it looks okay then in the Sun I could tell that the sleeves were lighter than the rest of the sweater so that was very disappointing to have all that work done so okay so then that's the dye lot now here this number here is going to tell us the weight this one is a size 4 which is a medium weight and the medium weight a lot of times that's what we call the worsted weight yarn or afghan yarn air on yarn and um, and usually here then it's going to tell us the next thing we have here like this one here the next one is a size 2 so this is a fine yarn and the so size two is more like a sport, what we call a sport or baby yarn. Um, and then this one here, it tells us that this is a size one. Now this is interesting because I feel like the lace one, which here for patents, um, patents lace, I love this yarn. It has little sequences. I don't know if you could see that, but it sparkles so cute. Um, this one is a size two. And then this one for loops and loops and thread, the wool like this says it's a one but I feel like this lace one is it's definitely thinner than the one so they could even kind of vary from yarn to yarn so if you're making a project that the designer has specified a yarn a lot of times um, well that's it's usually if you can get the yarn it's best to use that yarn not necessarily the color but that yarn because that's what they designed that garment for so here, the that number two is what we call the sporter baby. Now for me, now this one here, the number one is a fine weight. Um, even though I felt like this was a little bit thinner, for the number one here, that's what we call a sock or a fingering uh, uh, baby yarn. So this is like the super thin one. Um, I don't know if this, I wouldn't use this for socks because it doesn't seem to have much stretch and I like to use sock yarn for socks because it gives it, a, they tend to have a little bit more elasticity. So these are the different weights so you need to check the weight here. And then next to the weight it's going to give us a suggested uh, uh, needle, knitting needle and hook size. So here for this one, let's see for the number four. It's telling us that they feel like a size um, five millimeter crochet hook or an H hook, uh, which is the number eight US, would be a good size for that. And then uh, the knitting needles, then it would be five millimeter, and that would be a size eight. So then you would just go through your hooks, like say if I was going to use this, this is a five, uh, five and a half, so this might be okay. But then I would want to try to get as close to that. And that's why sometimes when I say you can use whatever hook, uh, yarn or hook size as long as it's appropriate to the yarn, that's what I mean, that the weight is appropriate to the hook. The, the weight and the hook size are appropriate and you can find that out by looking at these symbols. Now after this, the symbols um, you're going to hear here, it's going to be telling you these other little symbols are going to give you the laundry. These are all for how to wash this garment or how to take care of it. Um, here it's already told you machine washable and dryable. So that's pretty good. Here it's telling you you can use warm water. That's This little, um, it looks like a little open or sideways pail with little waves that's supposed to simulate water. It's telling you here the temperature 40 Celsius, 105 Fahrenheit. That's like the 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 temperature of the water that you could use that. Now this uh, over here 
it's the lace it's telling me I can wash it but it's only one little dot so that's telling me that I need to use uh, cool water cold water um, a colder water and then this one also has two little dots so you'll be able to find out now here so that's you see the little bucket there now for this one which is the Caron cakes let me see if you can see the little symbol there now it has I know that's kind of small let me see if I could get closer that has a little symbol of the bucket and it has a hand I know you can't really see that there but there is like a hand inside of this tub so it's telling you you need to hand wash this there's no um, no machine washing for the Caron cake so here it says hand wash and then this little thing this little symbol with a little square with the in um, a square with a square this is a symbol for the dryer and here it just has a little line across so that's telling you you're gonna have to lay it flat to dry so this is not uh, a washable uh, uh, in the machine or in the dry so you're gonna have to hand wash and then you're gonna have to lay it flat probably like one of those little items like the sweater drying um, there's like these little nets that look almost like hammocks but you put your sweater on there and then the air can circulate on the bottom and then it dries and this is also the lace also has that line lay it flat so it's giving you flat if these lines went up and down then that means you would need to dry it you could not hang it on the line to dry now this one here you have that little symbol for the they go even extra to tell you do not dry this because this is a symbol for the dryer so so uh, on here as well it tells you don't dry that one they want you to hand wash it now this is the little iron so here it's saying no iron so and then the what the one that people really you really need to know is like the diamond the little not a diamond excuse me the triangle um, when it's filled filled in and it's got the X that means no bleach do not use bleach on this item and most of them here um, will have the no bleach see this one has also uh, that uh, triangle with the no bleach this one has a P and that's actually telling you that you can dry clean this garment um, and so I mean if you want to dry clean then you could um, but that one is telling you both of these say no bleach so no bleach no bleach now this one's interesting here because this one has the the, the um, triangle but this one has the two little lines through it so that means that you can use bleach but it has to be uh, non chlorine so it has to be color fast safe if it's just a uh, uh, empty a blank uh, triangle with no lines or anything that means that you can use bleach on it um, and I think I've only seen um, like the lilies, lily, the um, cotton, white cotton yarn that had it. Usually it has uh, no bleach. So these are just some of the laundry symbols. And so you want to make sure you know like, hey, am I going to be the kind of person that hand washes stuff? I don't usually hand wash too many things other than hand knitted socks. I try to avoid items that can only be hand washed. Um, there's some things that I do because if it's a garment that I'm not going to use like a lot, then it's okay because I can just wash it and line, you know, either la uh, dry it flat or tumble it or whatever it says. So like I did the uh, boho vest, I did this and I like the Karen cakes. I love them. And I did it with this because I didn't mind because I'm not going to be washing that very often because I'm not going to be using it so much. So those are some of the things that you want to uh, keep in mind when you're selecting your yarns. These are some of the symbols here. So you keep that in mind when you buy your yarn. Try to buy enough for your whole project. And then that way you don't have to worry about running out. If there's a dye lot, you want to make sure you match them all before you buy everything. And then here, just make sure you match the hook sizes for your yarn, whichever one you're using. Um, and so... If you have a yarn that is a size uh, zero, I don't see it that often other than on crochet thread, but the size zero is actually what you call a fingering yarn. And it's a si uh, the same size, I believe, as a 10 count um, crochet thread. So these are just some of the information. You can look on your needles and your crochet hooks to match it. 
um, when you uh, are working with your yarn. Hopefully this will help you be able to better choose the type of yarn you're going to select for your project. So I hope it was helpful. Um, this was uh, a video was requested by uh, one of uh, the fans on my Facebook page. So make sure you go over there at All Crafts Channel on my Facebook and also on my blog allcraftschannel.com. I have some more information and then if you become a member then you can be notified when there's new videos. I thank you so much for sharing your day with me and please subscribe if you haven't already done so that way you never miss a new video. Hit that like button lets me know that you like this video uh, content and remember always that God loves you.